Welcome to Cook to Serve. And in Cook to Serve, we nourish both the soul and the stomach. And Kama Kawaida, we're in the kitchen of Dr. George. Karibuni sana. Now, today's episode is one we have themed, reaching out to the fresh believer. And, believe it or not, we're going to use fresh fish to help us navigate the theme for today. Dr. George? Yes. So, um, it's very interesting, the fishing expedition. You know, um, just as we, in the last episode, we realized that Christ, that you say that in the scripture, fishing is mentioned 50 times, like five zero. Mm -hmm. And Christ also used a lot of, uh, I mean, his disciples, um, and even through the miracles, he used uh, fish. And finally, when he was calling Peter, he told them, I want you to go and become fishers of men. Mm -hmm. So what Christ was telling them is, now, I want you to go get fresh fish. Because you, I have you. Yes. Now you need to go and fre get fresh fish. And so today, um, I want us to look at uh, why fresh fish? Mm -hmm. And how do we get the fresh fish? And you know, one thing is, uh, when Jesus Christ started his ministry, he said, the kingdom of God is at hand. Yes. It meant that there was an, a new dispensation, that the kingdom of God has come. It means before the kingdom of God was up with him in heaven, yes. and we're all looking up heavenly words, but now he decided to bring the kingdom of God to us, to men. You get? And so he said, the kingdom of God has come. And when he was talking to his disciples, he said, now you have become part of the kingdom. And in them becoming part of the kingdom, they realized that there was a change and there was a difference between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the world. The way things are done in the kingdom of God is different. The rulership in the kingdom of God is different. The power in the kingdom of God is different. And the manifestation in the kingdom of God is different from the kingdom of the world. Mm -hmm. And so what that meant is Christ, in establishing God's kingdom, wanted everyone to come. And so because he had caught some fish, he said, okay, now I want you to go and fish, fresh fish. Fresh fish. Yes. So in and a sense, like, uh, even to put into context yes. now, mm. the question one could ask, mm. who is a fresh believer? So a fresh believer is one who... Um, so first, before you become a believer, you are actually lost. And lost in a sense that you are outside of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Because God has his plan like this, and we have our plan, and we come and join God's plan. Mm -hmm. Then we become part of his kingdom. Yes. Our lives have been planned by God, and our beginning and the end is actually planned together. And so, what happens is that... Um, God actually invites us. So when you come into the kingdom of God, that process of you coming into the kingdom of God, you become a fresh believer. Uh -huh. It's the person that has accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of his life. And that is a process, reaching out to them and bringing them into the kingdom. Just as the net is thrown into the lake and it catches the fish and the fish is brought into the boat. So that's fresh fish. That's a fresh believer. And this fresh believer yes. is not necessarily age dependent. You can no. be a fresh believer from as young as what age? Or uh, fresh as, believer? As, as young well, as you can you can talk and understand, usually like two years. Two years. And you and can be still fresh even though you may have advanced in 100 age. hundred years old or so 110 years old. All of us can be fresh, fresh believers. believers. Yes. And in today's episode, we're going to look at uh, like we've you know, defined who is a fresh believer. Mm -hmm. We'll also look at the process. Yes. The process of actually engaging and, you know, navigating and walking through. Mm -hmm. And of course, we'll also, lastly but not least, look at um, the perspective where we appreciate that in God's kingdom, everybody matters. Yes. All of us have a role to play. Mm -hmm. We are all valid. We are all important. Mm -hmm. And that is God's will and way for alignment. Yes. So over to today's 
yeah. episode. Mm. There's fresh fish. Yes. Can you take us through what are the ingredients and also the process of preparing fresh fish? Yes. We all love to eat fresh fish, yes. but we're not too sure. Mm. How do you remove the scales? Yes. Etc. and yes. so on. Mm. And that is very significant. So um, let, me, let me go to the fresh fish first, mm -hmm. then I'll come to the spices. Yes. So uh, with us today, we have three big tilapias. Eh? Mm -hmm. And uh, so at this point um, in time, this tilapia was whole um, when, it, when, when I bought it. Yes. It had been just fished. And it was whole. It did not have anything um, removed from it. Yes. So what I did is, um, when you buy fish, uh, right now we have advantage of it being scaled off from where we buy it from. Mm -hmm. But if you come to, if you go to the lake side and they give you fish straight from the you, lake, yes, or the you river. need you need to know that fish has scales that have to be removed. Yes. And the fish has the internal uh, organs that have to be removed. Mm -hmm. I am not being ignorant of what people know mm -hmm. because there's a friend of mine whose girlfriend was like, I really want to cook that fish for you. I know how to cook fish. Then he told her, take it away. <laughs> yes. Guess what she did? She As actually, you, you, she washed the fish. Because when you wash, the scales will not come out. The scales have stuck. Mm -hmm. to the fish. So it looks clean. So she, she, she washed the fish yes. and then did her spices very nicely mm -hmm. and put it on the, I mean, fried the spices and put the fish in. And the guys would smell the sweet smell of fish while they were in the sitting room. You know, the aroma was <laughs> passing right. through. It was wafting and yes. inviting. Yes. yes. But when the fish was ready, lo and behold, <laughs> the scales were ready. <laughs> It could not be eaten. <laughs> it could not be eaten. Wow. And that's significant. And we'll talk about it as, as, as we move. So yeah. what you, you need to do first, when you get fish, you need to wash it. Mm -hmm. Once you wash it, you need to remove the scales. Yes. And when you're removing the scales, this is the best way to do it. You hold it by the tail, mm -hmm. and you start from here. And you, the the yes, you remove towards the head. Mm -hmm. It's very important to remove the ones here. They are very small and fine ones. Mm -hmm. If you don't remove it, this part, you see this part of this fish, I can tell you for sure, this is a female fish. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You've right. not asked the important question. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the question I was waiting. <laughs> the head, the head is usually small. Okay. The head of the female fish is small and the body is bigger. You get? Yes. So you, you have to scale all this until make sure that there is nothing left. Because mm -hmm. this part is usually also very delicious and juicy okay. when you're eating it. Yes. You know? So you have to remove all the scales. And then once you have removed the scale, you wash the fish. Uh -huh. And the way you wash the fish, you start by washing the gills. Mm -hmm. So I have actually removed, there is a covering here yes. that I have removed. Yes. So you just put your hands, you open it up like this, uh -huh. you put your hands and you wash it clean, like it has to be clean. Yes. Because if you don't do this, then the, the fish, the taste of the fish is altered. Okay. So once you wash the gills first, then you go to the process of now removing the intestines. Uh -huh. So in, in a new believer's life, there are things in the external that show that they still in the kingdom of the world. Yes. That when you look at them, you don't see any difference. But there are things that as you disciple them, they change. Mm -hmm. Their dressing change, their external company changes, the way they uh, do things changes, the external mannerism changes. Mm -hmm. Another thing that is important when you have fresh fish is to remove the internals. So you will make, you will make a cut and the cut is usually made here. Mm -hmm. So this is where the internals are. So when you make the cut, you now actually open up and you remove, you actually use your hand to remove all the ink. So the two fingers, and yes. it's like you're scooping, you're scooping them out. Out. Yes. 
it's it's not it's in that that process is not a very clean process the way it looks here mm -hmm. it's a it's a there's a bit of that involved in it because we're removing the dirty part mm -hmm. and it's very and, and it's very important for a new believer to understand that inside us the bible says the art is desperately wicked you know and the there are issues that determine the life that are inside mm -hmm. and there are dead works in us mm -hmm. and they can actually make us become rotten make us lose taste that they have to be removed and that process of removing them is by refining you by the word of god yes by having fellowship by being discipled by prayer by mm -hmm. asking god mm -hmm. to actually um, change your heart mm -hmm. to make it be like his mm -hmm. by asking god to actually mold you and make you you know it's the process that process is opening up yourself to removing of the worldly things and allowing the kingdom to be established in your kingdom. Mm -hmm. It is what David says that, your word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. Uh -huh. And that process is not, it's, it's painful. Remember, we have to make a cut. Yes. So as a new believer, you'll feel some pain. But that's the making of the kingdom citizen. Right. There are things that have to be removed from you. And when they are being removed, it's going to be uncomfortable, it's going to be painful, but you have to hang on there. Please let the Lord do the surgery. Let the Lord use his people to mold you. Yes. And let the, the Lord, um, allow the Lord to remove everything and then wash you. Now after the, you've removed the inner bit of it and yes. cleaned it and washed it, after removing you wash again, Yes. then now, this is this is the process so it's good to have like containers mm -hmm. so I actually had three containers and, and two of them are in the balcony mm -hmm. um the one that i used to scale yes and remove the inside and then i put it in the next uh container with water uh -huh. and that water was i just used it to wash the gills and wash the inside and wash thoroughly yeah Mm -hmm. and make sure that it is clean then the next container had water had salty water salty water yes uh -huh. i put in salt mm -hmm. and 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 a bit of uh, a bit of salt in the water just to make sure that now the water is seeping in mm -hmm. you know and the salt is also seeping in it's kind of it's almost trying to marinate it and also preserve it at the same time you know yes yeah and then after that when you do when you when you have you have rinsed it on that. So this was a container with salty water. Right. Then I discarded the water. Okay. Then after you've discarded the water, you let it drip. So this fish has dripped. Uh, and if you look, by the time the container was okay, mm -hmm. but now there is some fluid in the container. Yes. It's from the dripping of the fish. So it has it's drained it's, it's itself. It's important to I'm drain it, yes, uh -huh. so that it's easier to cut. Okay. And there's something else I want to say that during the slicing, mm -hmm. there's one key component that is important called salt. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you can actually slice it, just make small cuts. Before this, there was the water which had salt. Yes. How salty should that water be? Because I notice here again, mm. you have salt that I you're going to I have salt that I'm so going that you to don't over salt it. Yes. So now, um, the, the essence of the other, the salty water that I discarded was to try and mute and kill any uh, dam. You remember we said yes. that salt is, can also be medicinal. Yes. If there was anything from the market, you know, as you washed, so now you just want to throw it into the salty water okay. just to make sure that any other thing is taken off. For cleansing. And also to way. just just mm -hmm. uh, preserve the turgidity of the fish. Okay. You know. All right. Yeah. So then you can uh, then put a bit of salt. Into the cuts. Yes.
And as a process, even as you're cutting, even for yes. a fresh believer, mm -hmm. this is part of that journey. Yes. And you have to wait, and then they will apportion you to the ministry. There are people uh -huh. who will realize your gift and your talent, Yes. and then they will apportion you to the ministry. They'll tell you, you are good in singing. Mm -hmm. Please join the singing ministry. You can teach, you can preach, yes. you can... Um, um, Asha, you can so we are portioning you into different parts of the kingdom so that you can be able to serve and we are all gifted differently yes but we have a role to play yes it's playing its part contributing to the whole to the kingdom yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and while we're at it eh, if mm -hmm. those of us who may not have grown up near the lakeside yes but you go to the market and you're told this is fresh fish yes how would you know it is actually fresh fresh so Is there fresh any telltale signs that you can look at discoloration of yes. the eyes or the yes. what would you give us the tip? So you look at the tea, the, the, the gills. Mm -hmm. So most of it when you're buying it, it has not been washed, nothing has been done to yes. it. Yes. So you look at the gills, the gills should be red. Uh -huh. Like it should have blood. Okay. So that means that that's fresh fish. Okay. Yeah. So the gills should be fresh, it should be bloody, and when you wash it, it should and you put it in salty water. The blood will actually kind of so go the away. Color. The yes. color will come out, and you can see and tell. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. And when you cut, you'll actually see blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And this is the fresh fish. This is the fresh believer. This is the fresh believer. The one who is journeying, who is going through this, who is overseeing this, who is working with them. Yes. What kind of relationship should that be, and what can you expect of them as commitment? So it's it's a uh, it's the disciple disciple uh, kind of relationship, and uh, the first thing that has to happen to the person doing this is they must have concern for them. Mm -hmm. They must understand that the kingdom needs them, you know, and uh, and that they need to come to the kingdom of God, and love, patience has to characterize that relationship. The love of God, that God loves this person so much that while this person was yet to know Christ, while he was still a sinner, Christ came and died for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that um, they have to love the person. Yes. Not their sin, not their state, mm -hmm. but the person. The person. Because when you love the person, you will help them to come out of their state. It's like I heard someone say, I quote, this is not me, I didn't originate it, where you hate the sin, but not the sinner. Sinner, yes. That's, 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 that's true. Mm -hmm. You hate the sinner, not the sinner. So what you are working towards is just helping that believer, that new, the fresh one, mm -hmm. first to identify what is sin. Because what, what you may know as sin, who you, you who is in the kingdom, the believer may not know. May not know. Yes. That's right. And how do you help them identify what is sin? Two ways. One, you pray for them that they have the Holy Spirit who will convict them of sin whenever it happens. And two, you point them to the scripture so that they can read. Mm -hmm. And you become intentional to help them to see what is right and what is not right because God has actually spelt it clearly in the scriptures. Yes. So now, next will be the, the process of uh, cooking. 
cooking and, yes and uh, there's something here i think while we're at it this was fresh fish and it'll take longer than when you prepare and you've got the already fried, fried fish yes. and you're cooking it yes so even if you at this point you can fry it mm -hmm. the way it is you can put it into uh, you can deep fry it mm -hmm. and it will be nice okay and and uh, remember even a fresh believer mm -hmm. the world can still fry them okay they're still facing challenges challenges are still there there are things that they're still struggling with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's very easy you know the bible says that be careful because your adversary the devil so is lacking around or roaming around yeah yeah like a lion yes. seeking whom he may devour. devour so even a fresh believer can be fried by life mm -hmm. so you need to be conscious about that and they can easily be fried you know mm -hmm. when they're fresh and okay. continuously make sure that you help them to focus into the kingdom of god okay yeah so now we come to our spices mm -hmm. so today garlic powder uh, coriander, uh, ginger, a bit of it, turmeric, mm -hmm. and paprika, and lastly, our roiko. Yes. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> yeah. And nice. then I, I had a bit of uh, uh, masala. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that the, you know, you just want some nice taste. That's right. In your fish. And mm -hmm. of course, our tomatoes and, the and our onions. Okay. We will have coconut milk uh -huh. in our okay. fresh fish coconut milk in the fresh fish yes okay so we'll dilute this with hot water good okay so remember the process of preparing a fresh believer takes time you need to be patient yes the cooking process takes time you need to be patient the preparation process can be messy mm -hmm. you need to be willing to go through that mm -hmm. and you need to be willing to uh, to um, take it with all the challenges that comes yes. including you can be pricked a bit uh, like your emotions can be pricked a bit mm -hmm. you can be you can feel angry mm -hmm. but you need to understand that this fresh fish Christ has sent you to it it's a journey it's a relationship it's a relationship you're building okay yes okay let's take us through mm -hmm. As, u as usual, you light your gas, mm -hmm. and then we put our vegetable oil. Uh huh. Always vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, yes. Yes, because it's free from cholesterol. So then we can, yeah, we can do that. Onions. Despite your various giftings and positions that you're serving the Lord from, we are still we're still in the same kingdom of God. We belong together. We belong together. One Father, one Christ, one Spirit, one hope. You know, Father of us all is bringing us together. He has gifted us in different ways mm -hmm. to serve him. He has talented us in different ways to serve him. We are all equally important. Yes. Because each and every one of us makes part of the kingdom. And you yes. know what? This is something that we also need to teach new believers. Yes. That each and every one of us makes an important part of the kingdom. We have a contribution to make. We are all important. Yes. Mm -hmm. At the point that we come, we are all visible. You know, you can see us. Because like right now, you can see the onions. You can see the oil. But as we, we come together, there are some of us that will not be visible. Mm -hmm. Yet we make a very important part. We play a very important part. So each one kingdom. of us is needed. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are all important to the kingdom. Yeah. You know, and at this point, you may not, at, at the point, we will it will reach a point that we will not even be able to see the onions. Mm -hmm. We will not be able to see the tomatoes and the, and the other components. Yes. But they all play an important role in, make, in cooking you and making you palatable and ready for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you see, there are people whom you may never interact with in your Christian faith or meet them. 
Yes. But they are important. You know, somebody like the maybe the finance person that sits in the office mm -hmm. that you've never met. But plays still a very crucial role. The media guy who is always back there, you've never seen him. Mm -hmm. You know, the the person who is cleaning the compound, you know. All of us are important to the kingdom of God. Yes. And we all play an important part. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, there are those who are clearly visible. Yes. The preachers, the teachers, the apostles, the praise and worshipers, you know. Mm -hmm. Those ones you see every day. Yes. But there are those ones you don't see. Yet they are very important. Yes. Yeah. You know, the missionaries. They are you rarely see the missionaries up there preaching as a missionary. They are always going out to spread the word to the people. They are always reaching out to the people in the marketplace. You know, all of us are important in that aspect. Yes. So now the, they have been brought back together. Mm -hmm. We go to our... The tomatoes. Tomatoes. I love the look in this area. <laughs> <laughs> in Avutia. In Avutia. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Edmond, during this, during this uh, COVID times, yes. there are many people that are feeling the heat. Mm -hmm. This is a time that is important for us to reach out to our other, to our brothers and sisters. If there's a new believer, you need to reach out to them. If there's someone who has never believed, hmm? reach out to them. Reach out to mm -hmm. them right now when they are feeling the heat because they may jump out of the heat mm -hmm. and find themselves in a very bad situation, you know, worse than the COVID itself. Yes. Yeah. But this is a time we need to continue to give, to point people to the kingdom that Christ was saying, mm -hmm. the kingdom of God is at hand the kingdom of god has come there is hope in the kingdom there is an opportunity to be taken care of by the king during this heating moment the way i'm taking care of the tomatoes and yes. mixing them together mm -hmm. yeah so at this point we do our spices mm -hmm. we, add, we add our spices what difference does it make when you apply the spices individually mm -hmm. or you mix them and place them together? So it's, for me, it's the issue of quantification. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it makes work easier when I, I mix them together than pour them all in. And like when I try to put an individual. Remember what we said the other time? Some overwhelm the other. Yes. So you have, but when you have them together, you're able to now measure and it's a skill that comes over time to give you the preferences. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And at least now, mm -hmm. you can feel we are cooking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need to add the coconut milk. At so the coconut point. milk, this was the powder, but you can also get it in liquid form. You can get form. it in liquid form. Mm -hmm. And then you can uh, add it. And the powder easier, warm water. Yes. To mix it. Mix it very well. Deep our fish. Mm -hmm. And fish being white meat doesn't take too long once 
it is in yeah. the heat. Otherwise, you may overdo it. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a preference, but yeah, that is. Uh, yeah, actually, if if you if you cook it, um, if you want to cook it for too long, mm -hmm. the heat has to be low. Very low. So yes, it, it, it just takes a longer like period. It simmers, it simmers yeah. for a longer period of time. Yeah, but if the heat is high. Yes. You actually need to cook it, not for a very long time. Okay. Now, as that cooks, if we could just uh, recap the journey to date in terms of the fresh deliver. Yes. The fresh fish that would have been caught from the lake or the river, or you, you may even buy it fresh, mm -hmm. it is one that needs preparation on the external and also mm -hmm. the internal. Yes. The external, which calls for the scaling. Yes. The internal is also removing the... Dead works. The dead works that are within us, and you can also yeah. see that in the context of fresh believer. Yes. That calls for patience, mm. and there is also the process, and that process, of course, is scaling, yes. inside cleansing, yes. washing, yes. slicing. Yes. Then, of course, without slicing, there is still also, uh, you know, salting. salting. Yes. And then uh, after that, we have uh, the uh, portioning. And we get now to where we are cooking. Yes. And of course, in the cooking again, mm -hmm. there is a process there in terms of other ingredients, the yes. engagements. Yes. Because like right now when you see, you only see soup. Mm -hmm. You can't see tomato, garlic, mm -hmm. uh, onions, yes. oil. It's all together. All together gelled in. Mm -hmm. and, and this speaks to yes. God's will and love for all of us. Yes. Where we say everybody, everybody. Yes counts everybody is important yes and everybody is needed yes and of course this speaks to the father's love for being expressed to all of us yes that the father loves us so much that he was willing to come for us mm. through his son jesus christ that when we believe in him he brings us back to the kingdom and remember this kingdom is an eternal kingdom Mm -hmm. There's a kingdom that has no end. Yes. It reigns from when your life ends after 100 or 150 years. The kingdom of God continues. And now you actually enter into the next phase of eternity in the kingdom of God. And the other reality is there is the kingdom of darkness which is ruling the world. Christ is saying that, the, that Satan has come like a lightning mm -hmm. seeking to deceive many so that many may perish with him in the kingdom of darkness that's going to perish for eternity. That God has come that we may receive the love and we may receive the gift of life, eternal life, and that we may become fished into the kingdom of God that we may reign with him for eternity. And that is where the investment should be. And this journey across, this is a relationship. Yes. And indeed, in Cook to Serve, we welcome and invite comments, compliments. Share with us what is your story, what is your experience. Mm -hmm. You may have recipes that you want us to, to look at, mm -hmm. to consider. And this is inclusive. The young ones will be involved. Yes. The older ones will be involved. Mm -hmm. And yes, we are men, but one of these days, we will invite the ladies to test and confirm that uh, <laughs> what they can cook, we can cook better. <laughs> Of course, yes. But yeah. uh, it's all inclusive. And yes. indeed, like we say in Cook to Serve, we not only nourish the soul, but also nourish the, the, the stomach. The stomach yes. And uh, if you have any suggestions, if you have comments, if you've got photos that you'd like to share, please take some time, share via email mm -hmm. to media at nairobibaptist.co.ke. Once again, share your photos, experience, recipes, via email to media at nairobibaptist.co.ke. In Cook to Serve, we not only nourish the soul, but also the stomach. Any parting shots, Dr. George? God is building a kingdom, and he wants all of us to be part of this kingdom, that we may enjoy eternity, that we may enjoy the life that he has prepared for us. Don't walk alone. Come and let Christ and the Holy Spirit and us walk with you because we are going far in this eternal journey.
You're most welcome. Asantani. And it's cooking. I need to cover it. Yes. <laughs> that we're looking forward to. Yes. <laughs> and we will tell you mm. how tasty it was, <laughs> how we enjoyed it. I wish you were here with us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Mm. And it seems like our fresh fish is cooked. Yes. Doc. Ready to serve. This is ready to cooked, serve. ready to serve. Fantastic. You want to take a peek? Wow, I can hardly wait. I can hardly wait. Mmm. Yes. Ready. <laughs> ready. And uh, I can see you have something in your hand. Actually, this was a, 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 a crust benefit. <laughs> a crust benefit from the ugali mm. that will partake. You know, the, the good ugali. The good ugali. When you cook good ugali, mm. you'll find that uh, at uh, the bottom of mm. the sufuria, after you have songadi, mingled, yes, yeah, 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 etc., yeah. there mm. is a layer that you will see almost like uh, a cookie. Yeah. Wow. It means the, the ugali is saying bye to the sufuria. Bye to sufuria. Yeah, and the sufuria is saying I felt you. So that's why it's... The only it's... advice I can give if you have more than one who is uh, having this, mm -hmm. you might want to create a crust benefit <laughs> rotor. <laughs> so today it is me, yes. tomorrow it it's is me. you. Yeah. But we have fish. And this fish, what can we eat it with in terms of accompaniment? Ugali. Uh -huh. Rice. Yes. If you want to do chapati, it's uh -huh. fine. If you want to do um, a pancake, it's fine. Wow. But the best is ugali. ugali. Let's serve. We're about to yeah. partake mm -hmm. and confirm this fish mm. has been cooked to serve. To serve. 